I'm going to tell you something. It's children like this. These senior citizens are supposed to be in a luxury high rise. Um, the power is going in and out. The elevators are flooded and the people at the top are stuck. Here go their kids down here talking about, um, they're, no, go up there with your mama and go up there and sit with them. Bring them down. Make the fire department. Come bring a letter. Do what you got to do. Y'all just standing around outside like, I don't know what to do. Like, oh my people gosh, who live what? here have caregivers and they are elderly, making this even more difficult. According to its website, this luxury complex houses 200 apartments for independent living and then 92 for assisted living and memory care residents. Water coming from the ceilings, flooding the stairwell, causing a real mess and major concerns. There was no power in her 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 apartment in the common area that pipes had burst and there was water coming out of everywhere. You could even see water leaking from outside the building. The Tradition Woodway is a senior community center. Catherine Jones says her mother-in-law is 80 years old and the power in her apartment has been on and off for three days. Well, she says it's now back on. The elevators still aren't running. She couldn't get down out of the elevator because the elevators weren't working, which we come to find out, find out were flooded. So um, the only way up and down are up the stairs, which is tricky for an 80 year old. One woman who doesn't want us using her name says her parents in their 80s are also trapped. People on the upper floors cannot get down and the caregivers can't get to them either. If they want to leave, they're forced to go up and down the stairs that look like this. According to records, the property is relatively new, built in 2018. Feeling desperate for answers and afraid for their loved ones, family members turn to ABC 13 to get answers. I mean, my mother keeps on texting me help, and I, there's nothing I can do. A spokesperson told us the power outage was caused by a malfunction to a center point transformer on the 23rd. They say HPD and the fire department say the building is safe and no residents are in danger. They understand the inconvenience and contractors are on site trying to fix the issues and the elevators. After we reached out, an email was sent out telling residents they would reserve and pay for a hotel room tonight. But that doesn't help those who are unable to get down the stairs. So they're stuck in their unit with no way out. And it's Christmas, so, I mean, and they have plans, so. We have reached out to Centerpoint. Brooke Taylor, ABC 13.